Hey, what is up guys? It is Mike on back with another video today and based off this title of the video You probably already know what I'm about to talk about. I did something really stupid today Okay, and see this is this is what happens when I actually decide to take time off work I actually have time to think about something other than work and today I decided to actually purchase a Tesla Model 3 I know I know right like who just goes out on a day off and decides to spend close to forty thousand dollars on a car this guy now what you see on my screen here is the actual Tesla website where you can actually purchase one of the cars online but what I did instead was I decided that I was going to purchase a Tesla Model 3 standard range all right now this one this is the car that everybody uh, had been waiting for I actually put a deposit down way back in 2016 I put a thousand bucks down to reserve it when they decided to launch the Tesla what they ended up doing was is they did the higher tiered performance model threes first and then they decided to actually allow people to go to a local Tesla place to see if there was any cars on the lot and purchase them there I decided up until that point you know what Having an actual reservation for the car does not make any sense. So I canceled my reservation, got my thousand bucks back. And in the end, Tesla ended up taking $2,500 of my money anyway. But here's the thing, okay? Now, because of the fact that up, right up here, as you see, only the Tesla Standard Range Plus is available um, at minimum to order. But I, because of the fact that I actually went with just the basic model, I actually had to call in a Tesla. Now, the thing is that you might be wondering is, okay, so you have to order in, or excuse me, you have to call in to Tesla to purchase the car. Now, what does that entail, right? So what you do is, what I, I should say what I did was, I sent an email because I was curious. Could I actually get a standard range with a white interior is that possible Tesla actually reached out to me one day later and they said you know what Michael it is actually possible for you to order a standard range the $35,000 version with the white interior and I also said that I wanted to do a different color other than black and they said yes that's possible so here's what I can do they said we can do a 35k version 220 miles of range upgraded paint and you can also do the white seats for an extra thousand all right now remember the upgraded paint depending on which version you went with was either 1500 to 2500 dollars they dropped the cost of the paint i decided to go with gray i know it's kind of a boring color but here's my thing it's going to be parked most of the time so if I had gone with the, uh, the blue color, which is what I really wanted, I knew the maintenance on that was going to be uh, really high. That only cost me a thousand bucks. It used to be fifteen hundred dollars uh, for the gray paint, so I'm already saving five hundred dollars. And I also decided to go with those white seats, uh, which are a thousand dollar, or excuse me, which used to be a fifteen hundred dollar option, are now uh, one thousand bucks. So off that. Ordering off menus already saved me a thousand dollars by just doing off the off the menu. So what do we have in total in terms of the pricing? Thirty-five k, thousand bucks for the paint, thousand bucks for the uh, for the white seats, and then that also um, you also have to add in the delivery fee, which is twelve hundred dollars. So thirty-eight two out the door now. I'm still on the fence right now because I've placed the order, right? Now I also have to go through financing. I got great credit, got no problems there. I'm still on the fence whether I want to purchase the car or if I want to lease the car, okay? I say I'm leaning more toward leasing myself. Um, that's just kind of the person I am. I really don't want to deal with the hassle of having to sell the car probably not going to keep the car for you know 10 plus years like a lot of people keep telling themselves that they're going to be doing and you never know what some of these um, 
uh, with some of these uh, battery packs and some of the cars I do trust Tesla that their eight year war I believe it's an eight year warranty that they have in the battery pack is going to be good uh, but again I don't want to have to deal with any of those issues uh, that's just the type of person I am so I'm leaning more toward uh, leasing the car especially um, you know with Tesla you do have to put in uh, a $2,500 uh, deposit uh, and again that's just so you can place the order but then on top of that right now currently there is a $3,700 rebate um, hopefully when Tesla financing reaches out to me uh, they will say that they are going to deduct that from the actual payment if that is the case I think I can get my payments down to around uh, the low 400s uh, again we'll see I'm looking at only a three-year lease at 10,000 miles per year again I don't drive a ton this is really just an expensive toy for me uh, and I'm sure a lot of you out there are like hey man if you want to throw away forty thousand dollars just give it to me don't give it to Tesla so I 100% can agree with you um, it is a stupid thing to do with your money but hey you live and learn is that right all right oh one other thing you guys might be wondering does that thirty five thousand dollars actually include autopilot and the answer is no it does not I'm one of those people I actually still quite enjoy driving um, I've seen videos of the autopilot system I know a lot of people on Twitter I follow a lot of people on Twitter they're Tesla fans they all have Tesla cars uh, and I know that autopilot is getting to be really really good uh, but quite honestly I've been in some of these cars that have driver assist aids you know cars that will help keep your your car in the lane and to be honest with you those things scare the shit out of me I spend more time with my hands on the steering wheel just just waiting with anxiety to feel that steering wheel kind of panic and go in some weird opposite direction and just slam me into a car next to me so for me I think I'm going to hold off on autopilot for now uh, maybe in three years uh, when I get rid of this car uh, maybe I decide to actually get autopilot on the new version um, but instead I'm going with the boring $35,000 version uh, 220 miles of range I did go with this gray color again like I said it's going to be parked most of the time so it's going to probably collect a little bit of dust in between uses uh, this blue color that Tesla has I think it is absolutely a gorgeous color um, I did go with the standard wheels I don't need any of those fancy wheels I live in Chicago these things are going to get beat up by winter time so I'll probably just take the hubcaps off and put them in storage somewhere uh, I went with the white seats as you can see I think the blue with the interior the white interior would have looked phenomenal uh, but again you know the outside great color it'll hide some of that dust probably hide some of the scratches a little bit better as well but on the inside it's gonna have that nice bright interior which for me living in Chicago it's cloudy for a significant part of the year I'm gonna need as much of this natural sunlight from this uh, uh, that glass roof as possible with that white interior to kind of brighten it up a little bit that's that's kind of my thing uh, like I said I'm not getting that full self-driving I'm not getting autopilot um, and then once financing reaches out we'll talk about numbers there is there is a possibility here guys that if the numbers don't work out to the way that I'm thinking they're gonna work out uh, there is a good chance that I'll actually just cancel my order and Tesla does assure me that I can actually go through my accounts and actually uh, cancel that order if I wanted to uh, and again I, I am actually leaning toward possibly canceling as well you know I'm not <coughs> I'm not married to the idea that I absolutely 100% need this car uh, it is a luxury item for me to have especially considering I live in Chicago we have great public transportation system um, but hey this is one way to spend a few bucks now one other thing that I want to talk about kind of touch point on is ordering over the phone when I talked to the Tesla service rep um, he did kind of you know when he started talking to me he's like so I understand that you're you're interested in the 35k version then he went off to say you know the 35k version is a nice car however the standard range plus is going to get you all of these additional features he started going into that sales pitch mode I think you're going to get a much better deal if you do a standard range plus but once I said no I think I'm interested in just the 35k version 
Um, he did basically say, not at all problem. I, we, we can definitely do that version for you with the white seats. There wasn't any pushback whatsoever. He just kind of did his sales pitch that the standard range plus, uh, which is a much better value, uh, which I think it is actually if you get autopilot. But again, if you if you want to trust autopilot, uh, good for you. Um, I'm perfectly OK with driving. I'm not at that point yet where I'm an old man and I need somebody else to drive for me. If you do like autopilot, I'm not calling you an old man or an old woman. Um, but for me, you know, again, I still I still actually enjoy driving. So um, the other thing, too, is once you actually do place the order with Tesla, they immediately give you access to the Tesla app, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, at the moment, because I don't actually have a car, it's not assigned a VIN or anything yet. Um, at the moment, uh, some of the features in there are, are it's pretty sparse. All they do is show you some product videos or I should say product demos. Uh, feature demos and then it's also really cool because they do give you access to um, uh, like a, a chart board a leaderboard that kind of shows how much uh, co2 emissions all Tesla's combined have uh, have actually saved and then they also kind of break down how many referrals that you uh, have actually made through the Tesla app which is actually really cool so the minute you place your order and you get access to the Tesla app they immediately give you access to your referral code and then you can actually start uh, sharing that with you know friends and family. Uh, you can share it through your social media account, and that'll actually give you referral um, referral credits. Now, as you guys may have heard, Tesla has actually modified their referral structures quite significantly. Uh, previously, you used to be able to get uh, credits to purchase uh, actually win. Uh, a brand new Tesla Roadster which is coming out I believe in 2020, 2020 or 2021 uh, which I got to tell you saying that 2020 sounds really cool um, but you can actually uh, if you had enough credits you could actually get a free Roadster from Tesla they also had um, access to upgraded rims that you could buy uh, but now the referral code system has actually completely changed um, and I think nowadays uh, what you can get is uh, up until May 28th of 2019, uh, if you guys use my referral code, they'll actually give you $5,000 of free, uh, excuse me, uh, <laughs> 5,000 miles, not $5,000, 5,000 miles of free supercharging credits. Uh, and again, that expires May 28th, but there's more than likely, uh, based on the way Tesla has worked in the past, they're probably going to extend that. Um, because they're going to want to move as many as cars as possible towards the end of the quarter, um, which we're not at the end of the quarter yet, but um, they'll probably extend that um, so you, you can use that um, uh, that promotion a little bit longer. Uh, and I think after that, depending on how many credits or how many credits you get, or referrals I should say, Tesla will actually enter you into a raffle to win uh, a brand new Roadster for me. Um, I don't think I'd really want to win a Roadster and a big part of that is uh, you do actually have to pay tax on that Roadster it's not going to be cheap that's for sure um, but if you guys are interested in using my uh, referral code I will go ahead and leave it in uh, the description uh, down at the bottom of this video for me when I actually placed the order through the phone what actually happened was my t uh, the Tesla rep actually said if you have that referral code they can actually enter it in for you the other thing that you can also do is um, if you decide well actually if you decide to place an order for the 35k model when you call in make sure you actually have the referral code uh, uh, with you because what my rep did was unfortunately I told them after I had actually placed the order what I did was I had to send them the link through the email and then he actually placed the order uh, for me and on their screens they actually do have access obviously to place the order through um, uh, for the 35k model uh, but for me when I actually click on that referral link it's going to take me to a page very similar to this and unfortunately you can't place the uh, the order for the 35k so if you do call make sure you tell them that referral free uh, referral uh, code right up front so they can give you access to that for me I use somebody's uh, code that I found on Twitter I got 5,000 uh, miles 
of free supercharging credits which is really cool because the garage that I'm actually going to be parking this in there is a supercharging um, access right inside the parking garage so that's going to be really cool uh, and again you get access to the Tesla app which is uh, really cool so you can start playing around with some of the stuff in there but otherwise guys I'll give you an update um, depending on obviously what happens with uh, once I talk to financing Again, I'm really, I, I did work out some numbers. I've been going back and forth on this multiple times. Do I need this car? Do I really not need the car? Um, again, it's really just an expensive toy for me. So I might actually be giving you guys an update that I actually canceled my order, but we'll, we'll see how the financing works out. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. See you.